I'm going to show you the best way to clean a plastic intake manifold. I'm going to be using oven cleaner. What I have today is Mr. Mr. Muscle oven cleaner. So just give it a good shake um, and just spray it as best as you can. I'm going to have to tilt it vertically so I can spray it properly inside. But you're getting the idea. And just do that in every port as much as you can. So I'm going to fill it up as best as I can. After I spray the oven cleaner, I let it overnight to do its magic and I would recommend you to place the intake manifold after you spray the chemical in a large plastic bag. This will keep all the mess together. It's a very, very smelly product and again, it's gonna retain all the, all the, all the smell and the dissolved carbon and oil in the bag. Um, I'm using a pressure washer. If you have a power washer with hot water, it's gonna be much, much better and much quicker as well. Um, yeah, it's a very, very time consuming process. If you're in a hurry and you need to do this very quickly, you're probably better off buying a new intake. Um, there are some aftermarket intake manifolds for around 150 pounds. I decided to deep clean my original genuine intake manifold just because there's absolutely nothing wrong apart from obviously the oil and soot buildup but I decided to keep my original genuine intake manifold. I was waiting on some parts in the post and I had plenty of time, so there was no rush and no hurry, so I decided to clean it myself. Before you start power washing or pressure washing, just make sure you remove all the sensitive parts like the throttle body and the map sensor because you don't want to cause any extra damage. And yeah, just spray plenty of oven cleaner. Um, the longer you leave it, the better it's gonna work and plenty of power washing. Look how clean and shiny this bad boy is. So this is practically a brand new intake manifold after cleaning. Just look at this inside. 
absolutely no dirt, no oil, and no soot. So, hard work paid off. I've assembled most of the intake, I just need to put some new gaskets on and this bad boy is ready to go back on the car. If you enjoyed the video hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.